We will see today's will be exclusively for the examination for each students. I see that growing for the last three years, every day, each day was a pleasure, you know, looking up to them, how they are growing up, you know, just like the milestones each year they are growing. And they did actually did these last three years. The pleasure. Initially, I used to know only two girls, Dr. Sujana and Dr. Sonia. I used to be confused, you know. Who are the others? You know? <laughs> names and all. Uh, but within a short time, I picked up everybody's names and started knowing every, every one of them and uh, knowing their families also. A very keen, you know, how, from where they have come from, what is their background, what are their families and they did this study earlier and then I was following them at each and every stage and I enjoyed them. You know, I never considered them to be my clients and students. They just met them. Enjoying their growth every moment, every day of their growth. And they were sincere in their growth. That was the best part. This batch is the best so far. This batch, the examination going batch is the best so far. And a lot, as Sujana just mentioned, a lot of hopes you know, how they will do an exam. I'm sure they will measure the right expectation. Definitely. And few, uh, you know, I won't lecture you, you are already very good. But few points which might be of some use, a take home message for examination going students. Firstly, you should know the format of examination paper. The two things which stands out in passing MD and the other things, the theory paper and why. Nobody will judge how well you have made a video and how well you are going to do work. They will see how well you are writing in the theory paper and how well you are doing the case discussion. Case discussion is very important. First, you should master it. Previous 10 question papers. You see the format. What type of questions are being asked? Try to write this down. And see the time management. You know, in the long time, are you finishing the entire paper of work? You should write this. Rather than giving it, try all the examination form. First, you see the previous 10 question paper. The same questions in the same format, the same way you repeat it. That's the beauty of our system. So first, you should practice the previous 10 question, master it. And whenever there is a challenging question, a challenging topic, discuss those topics with your colleagues, your classmates. And you know which girl or which boy is of your caliber, your caliber. Discuss that with your colleagues. That's very essential. Unless you discuss with your colleagues, you won't know where you are going wrong and how much you are going wrong. Then always keep abreast of the recent learning. Always, the examiner will be looking at you and he will judge how well you are in the recent guidelines. Recent guidelines of every aesthetic manual is very, very important. And most important in the Bible, we believe it or not, the examiner will be looking only one thing. How well you are with the fundamentals of anesthesia, the basics of anesthesia, the concepts of anesthesia. You do not buy out the whole thing. You first know the concept of it. What is it all? That is very important. And the examiner will be looking only for you. whether you are good at the basics, fundamentals of anesthesia, or not. You don't have to buy out the whole thing. Make sure you know the concept. And the basics of how to The second thing, the three most important topics which make anesthesiologists from a family physiology. It's very essential. I think it is These three aspects make perfect anesthesiology. Family physiology, and clinical anesthesia. These three things you should consider. And the second, Recent advances, pay attention to them. There will be one question in theory as well as there will be some more questions in the Bible also. Recent advances. 
how many you know about the reason why you like it. Answer the question. How? Keep yourself up to date. Keep yourself up to date with them. Don't read the old books. Recent books. Recent publishing. That's very essential. Then, a very important thing is covering all the books. For God's sake, don't leave one question in the day. Just answer. And you should know how you have populated the time allotment. Three hours time, ten question. Don't spend more than eighty minutes in one question. Preferably, you should just do it. The biggest mistake is leaving the question, thinking that I don't know. There is nothing like I don't know in leaving the question. Theory, you must spend fifty percent. You may do even exceptionally good in. Practical survival is of no use unless you clear the theory. You must clear the theory. 400 marks for the paper. You have to get 200 marks. Even one mark, there is a specific when the student has missed just that one mark and he has failed. And he incidentally has scored 60 to 65% of the file. He was one mark. I thought maybe an university might not be grace mark. No. So how you want it clearly? You should know. Make sure you allot your time, plan, and execute in the allotted time. Allotted time. Finish all the questions, and before that, doing all that, see the format. What type of questions are being asked? We make up. We make. And always challenge yourself with difficult questions and case studies, case discussion, especially with your roommate or colleagues. Try to do combined study, especially with your caliber student. Do combined study, otherwise you're doing. And last but not the least, take care of your health.